There's been a lot more talk about SD lately, and some of you have been looking at us like, what the hell is even that? So let's take a look at what SST is and then why people are talking. SST is a framework for building applications on AWS. Look, we all know AWS is a huge beast. It's a challenge to figure out what parts of it you should be using how you should be using it and getting it to play nice with other modern tools. It's not fun. SST fills this gap by taking the small portion of AWS that most companies should be using, specifically the serverless pieces, and creating a modern developer experience with them. The end result is a framework that's productive on day one of your project while retaining all the power, scale, and economics of AWS for day 100, day 1000, and more. So what do you actually get? You get a set of constructs for the things that your application needs. APIs, databases, buckets, secrets, cron jobs, queues, front ends like Astro, Remix, or Next.js. We really try to cover everything. You configure these constructs directly in TypeScript and bind them for easy access in your application. All this functionality is wrapped into the SST CLI that can do instant reloading of your application during development, as well as handling things like deploying a production. There are a lot of details here and our scope is pretty broad because we try to address any problem you might run into in any part of the stack. Which brings us to why people have been talking about SST lately. So we just released SST 2.0 and people are loving it. And the reason people are loving it is we did something you're not really ever supposed to do. We rewrote all of it. Every single line. I know you're supposed to refactor progressively, but every situation is different and rewriting it was absolutely the right choice for us. We had so many improvements we wanted to make that we just couldn't do with SST 1.0. The code base wasn't in TypeScript and that was creating friction whenever we needed to make changes, especially in the most complex places. We didn't really have much of a framework for what we were building. So the features grew organically and coupled with each other in ways that were difficult to work with. We also wanted to really level up performance. Like I said earlier, we're trying to set the bar high and it's not really possible to maximize performance in an existing system that didn't originally factor speed as a constraint. So we decided we needed to rewrite it while keeping all of those things in mind. It took five months, which you know isn't bad and thankfully it was successful. We're seeing significant performance gains and not just in contrived benchmarks. These are improvements that people can literally feel as they're using it day to day. The code base is now 100% in TypeScript simplified to a single package with way less code and much easier to reason about. You can see the proof of this in our contribution numbers. People are finding it way easier to work on SST and we've had more contributors in the past few weeks than we did in the past year. We were even able to spend time improving the UI of our CLI, which sounds weird. If you look at modern tools like Vite or Astro, they provide a slick experience even when constrained to the terminal and we were inspired by that. SST 2.0's terminal output is much nicer to look at and does things like color code function invocation so you can keep track of what's going on even when things start to get kind of busy. We also thought about how to make it easier to add SST to your project in the most minimal way possible. We're calling this drop-in mode, and thanks to a new TypeScript-based configuration system, you can drop in a single file to an existing project and get all the benefits of SST without needing a bigger migration. Some of you guys might have seen, we already launched drop-in mode for Astro, and we'll be doing additional launches for Next.js, Remix, Solid Start, and more in the coming weeks. So all this is starting to add up to a pretty good experience. Working inside AWS, you're not used to having tools that feel modern, and we're finally getting to a point where I'm feeling proud of the experience we're delivering. There's still a long way to go. The SSC 2.0 is a major milestone in setting us up to do that. If you like how this sounds, give this video a like. If you wanna keep up with everything we're doing, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Dax. This has been SD 2.0. You should go give it a try.